Hi, Sophie Andreo here. I thought of something the other day and I thought I would share it with you all. I'm doing a, uh, a series of uh, webinars for one of my clients and one of the things we were talking about the other day is, is it really storytelling or is it reputation management? And as I thought about it, you know what? It's reputation management that we're all doing online or reputation influence. And let me, let me share with you what I mean by that. So we're all talking, let us help you, you you know, create your story online. But why are we doing that as digital marketing agencies? Why are we helping you? It's because we're helping others. We're helping you influence what others think of you, what your potential clients think of you. We're helping you influence those who are existing clients and helping them share your message. So that's really what it boils down to. So reputation management, what is it? Why is it important? And how can you influence it? Is uh, I'm just going to go over this quickly for you, with you, because it's a it's a longer um, conversation that I'm having with my clients lately, but I, I thought I would share this with you. Reputation management is the effort to influence what and how people think of your brand or your purpose. What do I mean by that? Your brand or your purpose. You can use these steps to influence whether it's you, if you are the product that you sell or if it's your brand that you sell. And within your brand, there are people that are influencers that work for you. So that's why you want to use this approach for both. And it's it's pretty cool. So it's, it's something that I, I've been um, focused on and, uh, instead of just telling the story, which confuses a lot of people. What story am I telling? It's really, you know, what what do you want people to think? What is the brand reputation you want? What's your purpose? What's the brand reputation? And why is this important? It's so important because a good reputation is going to bring you more clients. A bad reputation is not going to bring you more clients. Not so much. It says a little more in that. 88% of consumers trust what others say in reviews, in posts, just as much as what their friends would tell them or an industry expert. So that's why it's so important. So it's one of the things that I thought, well, you know, I'm going to share this with you because I know we all talk about sharing your stories, but it's you're sharing these stories to influence your reputation. Okay, so uh, that's really what it's all about. And so how do you do that? Well, there's a few steps that you'd want to get into in monitoring what people are saying. But before you do that, you need to know what you're monitoring. So step number, so oh, let me just skip over some of this. But there's three steps that I've come up with. Is one, one is know what you're monitoring and why. So it's well enough to say, you know, you need to manage your reputation. But if you don't know how to do it, so let me just share. This is what we do for our clients. And I kind of put it into some steps for for y'all because I'm doing a, anyways, workshop where I'm training others to do this. And I thought I'd share. So, so it's kind of like a three-step online reputation influence plan. Know, first of all, what you're, ma what you're monitoring out there and why. Then listen and act on what you're monitoring. And three, encourage more social reviews. So this is what we do for all of our clients. And this is what we also train others to do for themselves with regards to digital marketing. So number one, know what you're monitoring, meaning your company name. You might be known by a few different things, so monitor those few different things. Your product's name, like so my company's name is now 123 Digital Power. It used to be Sophie and Drell. So of course I monitor both. And then you might also have some high, um, you know, high, high profile employees that work with you. So you're going to monitor them as well. And why are you doing this? If someone mentions you in passing and you don't realize it because they didn't tag you appropriately or mention your handle appropriately, you still want to hear it online so you can you know, chime in and you can help with the discussion. And if it's something that's maybe going sideways, you can bring it back up. So also popular keywords that you would like to participate in your competitors. Um, in the, in the, in the old days, in the old days, which wasn't that long ago, airlines were really well known for this. If someone got off a flight and they were really pissed off and they said something about the airline, all of a sudden a competitive airline would send a coupon to that person saying, hey, fly with us next time. We'll make sure you're happy. Or the 
fly, flight uh, that they just you know left and they were complaining about, they would be listening and they would hear they were upset and they would send them a note or an email or something to the social media platform saying, sorry about your experience. But that's one of the reasons we monitor. Industry groups, you want to be in the know for what's going around happening in your industry group. You don't want to look like you don't have no clue what's going on. Associations, that might be something else you're going to listen for. And your community, and we all have different communities. So you got to know, first of all, what you're monitoring. And then what you do is you, you, you monitor it. And how do you monitor it? There's two different places that you monitor. One is Google and one is social. So there might be more. Um, for example, if you are a uh, in the tourism industry, there are a few more that you guys know what I'm talking about in those cases. But in general, you're going to monitor on Google and on social. So Google Alerts is something you're going to be doing. So part of my practice is when I'm training other companies is how to do a Google Alert properly, how to set them up uh, on social, how to manage on social. We use certain systems that we listen online and be the quarterback. When somebody is saying something even about someone that is an influencer in your community let them know and that is beautiful when you're a, when you're a quarterback and uh, whether it's for your own company so if you happen to be the tactical person managing the social media platforms you may not be the right person to answer you may want to reply right away and say thank you for your feedback we're going to get back to you right away we're getting the right people back to you so you're the quarterback now getting the right people involved so that's what we mean by that so this is happens to be what is called a google alert so if you go to google.com forward slash alerts you can set up your google alert so you set that up for i set it up for each of my clients i set it up for myself for competitors you and then for my com clients i set it up for their clients and their competitors so we're monitoring that through something called google alerts and that what else do we do of course on Hootsuite that's the tool we happen to use there are many tools we're listening on social media on these tools and we're listening for what their industry is talking about we're listening for them being mentioned and we're listening for um, their competitors so they can chime in when they need to uh, if they need to so so again you want to listen and act and I'm not going to get into this for you um, or how to physically do this on uh, on Hootsuite. We're going to be talking about that at a later time. If you've been to any of my Hootsuite sessions, you've seen those or, or Sprout Social or Buffer. We train on all of those. So respond to the message, listen to the customer's problems and, and provide a resource or place for their voice to be heard. And, and then quarterback the response. So one way to to help your reputation and influence it is not just to say thank you, but give them more information, or not just to say sorry about your 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 uh, your, your 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 issue. Just you know, really show you care, show you care, and uh, we we have courses on showing you how to do that so and then finally encourage encourage good reviews encourage reviews so there are ways to do that as well there are places where people can give your company reviews and I was kind of surprised larger companies I work with smaller companies all sorts of companies they do not realize how many places people can give them reviews or that they're they have hundreds of reviews there in some cases maybe just five in some cases there has been hundreds and so where is that on their Google listing there are there's a place for reviews on your social media accounts there's place for reviews through email through text links and what I mean by that is so if you have a, the link on your Google listing because there is a link that um, you can create a unique link to your Google listing and you send that out at the bottom of an email when you've had a great conversation with somebody or you've just completed this amazing implementation and they love it or they've just purchased something from you and they're thrilled to death or they've got some great experience with you you can send them a text or an email saying would you mind clicking on this and giving us a review and that's one of the ways a lot of our companies who are growing their reviews are growing them authentically by communicating to their companies to their clients giving all of their salespeople and their customer service people the correct link to their Google review so that to their Google review area of their Google listing so that they can request reviews when appropriate obviously 
Same thing on social, and I'll show you what I mean. So if you go to a Google listing, you can go through, and when you go to your Google listing, you click down when you've logged into your Google listing. Over here on the side, you're going to see that you're going to log into your Google listing, and over here to the side, it says get more reviews when you've logged in. You click on that, and that gives you the link to your Google listing so you can request more reviews, and you can send that out, like I said. And some of the companies we've been working with who have been really um, powerful on their Google listing reviews have been sharing um, this out to their clients after they've had a great in, in engagement with their client, great, you know, um, customer service or, or, or experience, I meant to say, you as another e-word, great experience with their client and they uh, fill out the review and it works really well. Same thing on Facebook, you can do the same thing as you can see over here, you've got reviews. Well, where do you do, what do you do if you go into your uh, template on your reviews on your Facebook, you're able to go into your template and um, every Facebook, if you've been to any of our courses on Facebook, you'll know how to get to your tabs and then your tabs, you'll know that there is a review tab that you can turn on or off. And um, so when it's uh, when you go to that, there's a link and you copy that URL, you, that URL and if your target clients happen to be on Facebook and you know someone just had a great experience with you, you can just take that URL and send it to them in a social media message and say, hey, thank you so much. Would you mind leaving us a review? Sweet. So that's how you're going to get your reviews up. So those are two little things that I just wanted to share with you and it really makes a difference when you do that. And again, you can influence the review and maintain your reputation for your business and for your personal brand online. So whether it's for your business or whether it's for your personal human self. So for business, create content for your company. And that's what we do for all our clients is we create con content that really helps um, you know, tell that story. But why are we doing that? Because every company we work with has decided this is what we want to be known for. We want to have a reputation in these things. And then publish that content to your social media platforms and to Google. Don't forget Google. Can't believe how many people are forgetting to post to Google. It is the best way to get your SEO and I, I just see so many agencies out there not helping their businesses or clients post to Google and you really want to do that. I digress. So get your company up to about six positive reviews on each platform. That would be helpful. And then maintain your SEO by using your keywords in those posts. That helps you to maintain your position. Um, perform maintenance on your social media platforms, look at them every so often and make sure they still make sense. I, I have a lot of companies that I work with that I'll, I'll start working with them and they'll say, oh geez, you know, we haven't looked at this for about six years or five years and it's not really what we do anymore. Well, Google reads what is in the bio of all of your social media platforms and of course of your Google listing. So they need to sync up with what you really do in order for you to get found. And don't forget to listen and act to whatever platforms you're listening to and you know what your personal ones are identical so it's just in, um, there, there, there's just one little difference but their personal one is identical create and publish pieces that you want to be known for and public think about that each month what I do is I take a step back every month and think for my clients this month what do they want to be known for and we create the content and then we put that uh, out there for them. We help them understand how to share their reviews, that those links with their clients, and there you go. So I just wanted to share that with you. I don't know how long that was. Hope it wasn't too long, but help you with your reputation influence.